Would you say you're more of a leader or a follower? And do you wish you could be more of a leader in social situations? Well, it turns out you can. Let's play a quick game of Simon Says to show you what I mean. You remember Simon Says, right? I name a pose and you simply follow along. I want you to try this at home and I need you to remember each pose because in a moment I'm going to ask you whether the pose conveys confidence or whether it's more passive in nature. Okay, let's get started. Simon says, stand up and put your hands on your hips. Let's do another one. Simon says, cross your arms over your chest. Now try this one. Simon says, give a victory pose. Okay, last one. Simon says, hold your hands behind your back. So now that you've seen all four and hopefully tried them at home, which ones would you say communicate confidence and which ones are passive? Number one, hands on hips. This one is confident. Hands on your hips in either men or women shows power and independence. Number two, passive. This gesture is called the self-hug and it's a soothing behavior that indicates you're insecure or unprepared. How about number three? It's confidence. A victory pose is celebratory and indicates triumph. Finally, what is number four? This one may be a little tricky because my legs are placed confidently, but my hands are hidden behind my back. And any time a part of your body is hidden from view like this, it indicates passivity. The crazy thing is, is that these poses can actually impact the neural circuitry in your brain associated with leadership, agency, and self-esteem. Research by psychologist Amy Cuddy has revealed that participants have higher levels of testosterone, a hormone associated with dominance, and lower levels of cortisol, a hormone associated with stress, in just two minutes after holding these poses. Body language is a key part of leadership in many social situations. Our brain unconsciously adapts the way we speak, the way we move, the way we hold ourselves, depending on who we're talking to. But now that you know that your body can also influence your brain, you can use these poses to your advantage.